Hi everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I want to welcome you to my Monday morning live. Um, I'm just, my iPad is taking a little bit of time here to um, load up. It's Monday, it's tired. I hope you all had a fabulous weekend. Uh, this past weekend was my over the border um, with Di and Marcy, our spring social. Uh, we had such a great time. I just want to take a moment to thank everybody who joined us. It was so much fun. And um, the date of our next social is the fall social, and that will be September 20. Fourth, I think is or the 25th I forget what that Saturday is but more information is going to come um, so if you want to get your name on that list um, contact either Diana Gibbs in the United States or me Marcy Denning here in Canada good morning Carol okay this morning um, we're going to be creating with a hey birthday chick I'm using the coordinating dies as well, I am pulling in the um, Hey Chick dies, uh, the uh, chicken wire, love that, as well as the retiring stitched, Be Mine stitched dies. Um, these are my go-to heart dies. They are really um, fabulous and I use them a lot. So, uh, so, as well as, oh, I don't have it out. Um, also the, we are using the, um, oh my goodness, I have forgotten, uh, stitched so sweetly. <laughs> it's Monday. I've only had one coffee this morning, so, um, I'm only firing on half cylinders here, guys. <laughs> so this is the card that we're going to be creating. This was part of, um, Diane and I's, uh, Hey Birthday Chick Week class we did last month. This is one of the cards that I created for it. Um, I love this chubby dancing chicken. She is so cute. And you can see here is that vellum die cut heart. I just love the shape of that heart there. Um, and here's my um, chicken wire. And then on the inside, she's just poking through on the corner to say happy birthday. So um, this is what we're going to be creating. Um, and make sure you stay to all the way to the end. I have a couple class announcements that I want to um, let you guys know about, but I want to wait until the end of my um, live. Good morning, Melissa. Um, to uh, let you know about upcoming classes, both with Diana and I and my own class to go. All right, so we are going to stamp our chicken I'm using the Memento, um, Tuxedo Black Memento ink. All right, set her aside for a moment and then bring in a piece of grid paper because my insert piece, my little chick, she is going to be popping in on the side. So I just wanna give myself a little bit of a um, visual as to where I'm going to be putting it so all right so right about let me just see what how did I do that yeah like that she's just poking her head in super cute okay so um, while we've got that out well let's stamp our happy birthday We've got a few birthdays coming up next week, uh, family and friends. Um, the seventh is Allie, my um, daughter-in-law or my new daughter, uh, Damon's wife, as well as my brother-in-law, Troy. His birthday is the seventh. And then um, Brad's lifelong best friend, Jeff, his birthday is the 8th. And then 
Sandra and Troy, Brad's sister and her husband, their wedding anniversary is the 10th. So we have a lot happening that first little bit of April. So uh, I am in need of a few more birthday cards in that. So I thought, well, let's just do up another one of these so that we can um, get me a little bit more um, supplies on hand. So while we give that a moment to dry, we are going to take, so all of the measurements are going to be up on my blog, uh, which is gonna be about an hour after I'm done here, because I always like to load up my video to YouTube, and YouTube takes an awful long time to um, load anymore. So my designer series paper is from the ice cream corner. I believe it's called, it's in the mini catalog. This is a uh, basic, sorry, gray granite. So we are going to take and layer this all up. Hello, Ann. Ann and I did our three kilometer walk in the woods this morning. First thing, I messaged her at about quarter to eight and said, I can walk in 15 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, all right, let's get that walk done because I was pretty tired yesterday after our event all day on um, Saturday. So I, uh, I didn't get out for my walk yesterday. And we had takeout twice on the weekend. So I was like, oh my goodness, I need to get this body moving today. So, hello Jeannie, thanks for joining. Hello Brenda, thanks for joining. So is everybody getting ready for um, Easter? Are you uh, planning a big meal? Okay, so my, this is soft sea foam, my favorite green. So we are going to line this up over here towards the side. So this goes down like this. The stitched so sweetly dies are carrying over, thank goodness. I really do like them. Now, there are a lot of things that are gone, guys, so I need to let you know. Let me just reach up here and take a look at my, where did I put that list? Um, I wrote all kinds of stuff out. Did I rip my paper off? No, here it is. All right, as we are adhering. So, um, the stitched shapes and the layering ovals are on back order. The so next we do our vellum heart and then our um, uh, chicken wire is on top of that. So um, because my chicken is going to, I think that's is that straight. It's a little too late now. If it's not, um, yeah, it's stuck down. Um, because the vellum, you can see through it, so my chicken is going to be over here. So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive there to um, on that side there. So right about here. So back to what is sold out. So no longer available on that retiring list is the Whale of a Time Sweet Collection, the Rich Razzleberry Stampin' Blends Combo Pack, um, Pretty Peacock and Terracotta Tile Ink Pad, as well as the um, Ink Refill, um, Seaside Spray Ink Refill is gone as well, um, I'm looking at my list here. Pretty Peacock and Seaside Spray cardstock are gone. Uh, the In Color 2019-2021 uh, um, bundle of the ink pads, that is no longer available. Um, Whale of a Time Designer Series paper is no longer available. And 
uh, the in color uh, 12 by 12 cardstock is no longer available. And then the purple tricolored ribbon is no longer available. So when I tell you, that's why I started telling you back in January about the um, in colors, because once they announced the retiring list, oh my gosh, that stuff um, goes quickly. So I hope you guys were able to get what you wanted um, as it's too late now. <laughs> it is too late. It is all gone. So I'm just going to run a strip of my um, seal, stamp and seal. And this is the quarter inch, I think it's quarter inch um, gray granite shimmer ribbon. I love this ribbon. You know me and my sh and my sparkle and my shimmery stuff. Whoops! <laughs> and that is why I use the seal so that I can adjust it if I go a little wonky with it. All right, so we are good with that. So I'm actually going to take a little strip of my tear and tape. Now this shows as retiring. However, it's not, that configuration is retiring. They are just, it's being reconfigured for the new catalog. Same with the embossing powders. If you are having a little bit of a, oh no, the embossing powders are retiring. Um, don't worry, they're coming back. They're just reconfiguring um, them. And uh, that is all, you will be able to get them. Now the new annual catalog, you guys, I get to order it from it um, on April 1st. Can you believe it? April 1st is Thursday. Thursday, I get to order from the brand new catalog. How exciting is that? It's like Christmas morning. I don't know what we'll be able to order. We never know. We can't order everything. But one of the perks of being a demonstrator is we get to order some stuff. Okay, so now I am going to take and slip this under here to tie a knot. And I'm leaving it on the spool so that I don't waste, waste not, want not. So as little as possible. You're always going to have a little bit, but... I can live with throwing that tiny piece out. <laughs> That's okay. It's not a giant piece that I'm getting rid of. So, okay. Now, as always, I always say this, if I was clever and would remember that I have the adhesive sheets, I would have used that. But I can't seem to remember that. So I'm just gonna put a few dots of my liquid glue here. Not too much, because I don't want it squishing out everywhere. And we have Damon and Allie coming for dinner on Sunday, and we'll probably do Allie's birthday as well on Sunday. Okay, so I want that centered, just like that. All right, then um, let's get some coloring done. I've already embossed my um, sentiment, Let's Celebrate You, using um, my Versamark and my white embossing powder. Um, and we're just going to cut this up. So let's move you out of the way. We need you and we need you. Don't lose my dye. Okay, so... I have my light gray granite stamp and blend, and I am just going to add a little bit of color, just little ticks here and there. 
not too awful much. Just so that you get the idea that she is white, but no animal is ever white because they're out there digging around in the dirt, aren't they? So we're just gonna add some, I guess you would call it highlights, low lights. If you're getting your hair done, it would be some low lights. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then just right there. Okay, and then we're going to do the same here on her image that's on the inside. I'm just adding Uh, dark Daffodil Delight. Oops, I grabbed the wrong one. It's supposed to be Mango Melody, which, sorry. Yeah, Mango Melody, which is retiring. I don't know why they're retiring the Mango Melody blends because they are more of an orange, orangey yellow. We don't have another color like that. So I'm not exactly sure why. So this is your dark mango, in case you're wondering. They must not be selling a whole lot. And then this is your dark daffodil. So this is your two different tones. So if you like... Um, if you like this tone here, that bit of orange, then I would suggest you get these ordered right away before they run out. Is this ribbon still available? Yes, I, um, I, it, I, bleh. <laughs> Marcy needs more coffee. <laughs> yes, it is still available, um, I believe. Um, I love this ribbon I because I checked this morning and I didn't I don't think I saw this as on back order or I don't know if it I don't think it's retiring um, thank you for sharing sharing is caring and it's how I reach more crafty friends so um, please be a sweetheart like Jeannie and share my video uh, Jeannie's going to her daughter's for Easter how nice um, we're going to visit, hopefully, uh, my in-laws and my dad and his wife, maybe on Friday, have a little bit of a socially distanced visit with them. My dad has not had his first shot yet, so, whereas my in-laws have had their first shot, so, um, yeah. So, and Carol says, I need to keep them out on my desk or put a note on my cutting machine. <gasps> that is so clever, Carol. Yes, I need to do that. Thanks for that tip because I cannot remember to use them. I don't know why. All right. So I am bringing in my little mini stamp and cut and boss machine. My little sister, as I call her. She just uh, fits so nicely on the um, desk when I'm going to be doing any um, videoing and die cutting as well for the smaller things. And I've just got a piece of um, sticky tape to hold my die in place. I reuse my tape as much as possible. <laughs> until the stick is no longer um, working really. So, and there we go. Yesterday I shot a video for Thursday's Creating Kindness 
design team blog and video hop. Oh my goodness, the project I created is so cute. Um, I'm going to take my color lifter here and just soften that line there and here just ever so slightly. All right, so bring all this back in. And put our insert piece in. Oh, I haven't put my strip of designer series paper on there yet either. Okay, so. And just line that up. And there we have a fun decorated inside as well. Now we need to take a dimensional. And I've got a few here left, so let's just snip them. We've got lots of back orders happening right now, as does um, everyone, I believe, with the congestion at the ports. So everything is taking a little longer. But um, just have patience. Those products will arrive. Okay, so she is right about there. Let's move you over just slightly more. Okay, then we need a few of these rhinestones. We gotta bling her up. So as always, dot of glue there, a dot of glue here, and one up here. Grab my take your pick tool. Come on. And does anybody else have Easter plans? Oh, thank you for the coffee, Jeannie. <laughs> yeah, I generally am. I'm a two coffee a morning person. Um, always have been. I used to drink coffee throughout the day. Sometimes when I get really tired, I, um, I will uh, have a coffee in the afternoon. My kids think it's disgusting, but... I boil the kettle and have instant coffee. So I grew up with instant coffee. So, I mean, it's not my first choice, but I will drink it. I don't mind it, really. All right, so we are just going to take, you can use your scissors or a trimmer, whatever you want. And we're just going to cut this down so that it is, because I don't want a big... Um, square on there. I want it to be kind of fun. So we are just going to make sure that's there and I'm just eyeballing it to make sure it's kind of sort of straight. Straighter than if I was to cut it myself. It's just quick and easy to do it this way as well if you've got any kind of a mini trimmer. I wish Stampin' Up! would bring this back. This was a uh, sign up for new recruits um, last year um, 
for celebration. So, all right. I want just a hair more off of here. Okay, so let's celebrate. Actually, let's take my let's down a smidge more. That's the thing when you're cutting it apart, you can make it as um, small as you want. Okay, and just a hair more here. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it, as I said. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's a fun birthday card. I'll look up in a second to see any questions. So Jeannie, are you doing turkey? Is your daughter, is she doing turkey or do you do ham? We are doing turkey. Because we did not have turkey at Christmas. We had crock pot lasagna. So yeah, we really um, got wild and crazy and had something different. So I told them that we could have whatever they wanted as sides. So that's what um, I asked for there. There, what would you like? I said we don't have to do um, we don't have to do the traditional. If you want salads or whatever. Hello, Mary. Yeah, it would be lovely to be able to um, for customers to be able to order one of these little trimmers. They're so oh shoot. They are so fabulous, and they take up like no space at all. She's doing turkey and ham. Wow. Lucky you. I said the only for sure thing is I had to have my squash. Um, I grew up with acorn squash. My mom made the best acorn squash because she put brown sugar and butter in it with salt and pepper to bake it. Oh, so so oh, delicious. Who says you can't put sugar in your vegetables, right? <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of a vegetable, but it's awfully yummy. Let's move you just to the side slightly. There we have it. Oh, so cute. And it doesn't matter. They're not, if they're not totally straight or anything, because that's the way um, I wanted it to look kind of, yeah, so, and then you open it up and there's her happy birthday, happy birthday. Now look at this. So this is the old uh, Whisper White card stock and this is the new Basic White. Can you see the bright white difference? The new Basic White is a much brighter white and the uh, Whisper White is a little yellowy uh, but you never would have known before, but this is so nice and bright and white. I really like it. So that is today's card. All right, so um, a little bit of announcements. So this stuff here is, um, Hey Birthday Chick is in the catalog, but the dies are not, as well as the Hey Chick and the um chick dies they are not in the catalog the uh, links to purchase them are on my blog this morning um, it is an out of publication yes there is a difference in color so all right so paper pumpkin um april 10th is the last day to subscribe if you're local to me remember um as per stampin up rules i cannot um cash and carry these until um, May 11th is when I can sell you an extra kit. So um, by then you'll see all kinds of uh, um, alternatives. So if you're interested, let me know and I will still bump up my um, order to add one for you if you are local or just head on over to my blog to um, sign up with the Paper Pumpkin link. 
with me as your demonstrator. Okay, so my class to go, oh, I'm shedding. <laughs> my class to go for uh, April is uh, featuring the A Cut Above stamp set. This fun um, male masculine, I'm just reaching here for my notepad, stamp set um, is, there we go, um, my sign up deadline. I'm just looking here. All right, so what did I do with my paper? That's that one. That's the sweet ice cream, which is my next little announcement. I hold, please, while you look at that. Oh, I ripped it off. There we go. So, a cut above is my class to go. That is, um, you sign up for the class. I send you um, the PDF as well as the videos for it. So you create it on your own time, in the comfort of your own home, um, whenever you feel like creating. So I'm gonna um, send you everything you need. You're gonna use your own inks, uh, Stampin' Blends inks in that to um, stamp and color it in because I can't st send stamped images. If you already own this stamp set, you can sub out another um, stamp set of equal value. So the cost of this class is $40, and you're going to make six cards. So this is the three different cards. You're gonna make two of each of these three different cards. Um, for this class here, um, everything, all the supplies will be sent to you. Like I said, all you have to do is stamp and color it in um, following the um, video and PDF. And see, there's my beautiful subtle 3D embossing folder. Oh, can't believe it's going away. So yes, so that is my fun class. Sign up deadline is April 6th. And then once the product comes in and I get everything cut and prepped, I will send it off to you. The shipping is $17 if I have to mail it out to you. Canada Post has gotten awfully pricey, I'm afraid, for um, mailing things. If it is any different, I always, as um, Jeannie can uh, test, I will send um, e-transfer you the difference if it's any, um, if I was able to pack it so that it is lighter than what um, I've charged you for. All right, so over the border with Di and Marcy, our um, April class is sweet ice cream. Now, right now, this bundle is not available to order. It's supposed to be um, back in the week of April 5th. So sign up deadline is April 6th. Um, you've got two options. Just the stamp set um, is $35. The bundle is $55. Um, and if the, if the punch is uh, later coming, we'll just deal with that when it happens. The class is April 24th. Sign up deadline again is April 6th, the same day as the a cut above. Um, so this is with Diana in the over the border with Di and Marcy group. So if you live in the United States, you sign up with Diana. If you live in Canada, you sign up with me. So there's two options. The um, Our uh, media um, um, advertising will go out shortly. We had, uh, with our big event on Saturday, we were kind of busy with that. So we thought, oh my goodness, we have to get organized and get this out. So. Um, if you have this already, again, you just sub out for product of equal value. Um, so both of these classes are my April classes. This one here is with Diana for with the over the border. This one is just me. This is the PDF with all of your measurements and instructions 
um, as well as a video for each of the three different cards. This one here is the Zoom through um, as well through the Facebook group. So um, that is all for me today. That was a lot of um, stuff at the very end there. Thank you for taking a few moments of your day to uh, join me. I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Um, I will see you on Wednesday evening at 6.30 for another live video right here on my um, Facebook page. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much. I truly do appreciate it. If you have not um, yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button um, as well as uh, click that notification bell so that you are uh, notified every time I have a video. Um, have a great day, guys. Bye for now.